One day, in the Variety Photo Plays balcony, I noticed a good-looking Spanish guy in his early 20s, possibly even his late teens, sitting in the forward seats to the left. At least eight months of rooftop weightlifting had filled out his orange t-shirt's shoulders. He'd opened his khaki pants and was masturbating. As I watched, an older guy moved into the seat beside him, leaned close and whispered. Pausing the length of two or three strokes, the younger guy said something back. The older rose and moved away while the kid went back to what he was doing. Over the next 20 minutes, two more men sat next to him. To each, he said something. Again, each left, one to sit two seats away, the other to wander off into the theater's black. Pretty soon, no one was joining him anymore. The young man went on energetically pumping at himself, a seat free on either side. Later, in the lounge, what the longer term customers called the space behind a small wall backing the balcony's last row under a filthy skylight, I overheard two men one black, one white. That straight kid over there, beating off, he's gorgeous. Why isn't anybody doing him? Oh, he tells everybody who sits beside him he wants to do it himself. He says you can watch, but he wants you to sit at least a seat away. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I just don't know if my heart could stand that. I'll go downstairs <laughs> and let him do his thing. One or the other chuckled in the theater's shadow. A while later, walking along the horizontal aisle between the balcony's front and back seats, I glanced at the young guy, two rows below and a few seats to the side, when suddenly he put back his head, head black hair glimmering in the screen's light in, ry in rhythm with his fist, he blinked twice, closed his eyes, clamped his teeth, and as his lips pulled apart in two large gouts and a smaller, from his speeding grip, his fluids arched into the black between his khaki knees, wide against two different seat backs. Jerkily, his fist slowed, and he growled. After moments, breathing hard, he sat up to grin. <sighs> hey, that was pretty good one, wasn't it? <laughs> Left and right from three and four seats away, half a dozen men looked at him and grinned back. As a 40-year-old Asian man, somewhat heavy, in a suit and j suit jacket, and sitting a row behind him, caught his breath and, only a bit less spectacularly, came. The young man looked up and, still grin grinning, saw me. Not bad, hey, <laughs> you're watching me too? I nodded. I'm getting off on her up there, he pointed at the screen, and you guys are all getting off on me, that's funny, huh? <laughs> the guy there, his hand swung to point to the Asian. He always comes the same time I do. Don't you, don't you, come on, don't you? He looked back at me. He always does that, every time. I shoot, he shoots, ain't that a trip? <laughs> Looking over, he laughed. Smiling somewhat sheepishly, the Asian glanced up at me. That's really funny, huh? The guy went on vol volubly. I don't mind, though, it's nothing. He turned back to the screen, made two fists, stretched his arms wide, and yawned. Well, I'm going to get off a couple more times. He glanced at his watch. Damn, I've been here since this place opened. Then I'm going home. 